Hello everybody. Wanted to do a quick video of this accessory I picked up for my airless sprayer. Uh, this is called the Clean Shot and it's made by Graco. This is model number 28730. I picked this up from JN Equipment online for $119.95 free shipping to my door. And basically what this is is a valve. Now if you're using an airless sprayer it has a shutoff valve right here and they typically won't spit unless there's something wrong with the gun. The problem starts coming in when you start using extension pulls. Here's a 20, 20 inch extension right here and this is about a 6 inch extension. What happens is when you're using an extension they'll have a tendency to spit at the beginning at the end of pulling the trigger because the cutoff for the paint is back here but you still have all the pressure in here and it leaks out your tip at the front. So basically what this is is another valve that you put on the end of your extension and once you let the trigger off right here it has a mechanism in it and it will also shut off the flow of paint. Seems like a pretty neat gadget I haven't used it yet but that's what it's for and it also you can pivot it around to shoot at different angles which it's going to come in handy for me. Now this came with a Graco Rack X guard and tip in it. This is a 517 tip which means it shoots a 10 inch fan and it has a 17 thousandths orifice. Now this would be like a Rack 4 or Rack 5 right here and these will not fit in there, the Rack X tips. So these are just my old stock of things and I have a myriad of tips here as well. Now these gun nozzles, these tips here, uh, the only way to change your fan pattern is to change the size of the tip. For example, this is a 211 which means it will shoot a 4 inch fan and it has an 11 thousandths orifice. Here's a 315, it shoots a 6. A 515, it shoots a 10 inch fan, a little bit smaller of an orifice. And then a 517, it shoots a 10 inch fan as well. Now these will also work on it, no problem. So I do have the ability to mix and match my tips since I don't shoot with Rack X. I just wanted this part right here, but they don't sell it that way. You have to buy this stuff along with it. And this is quite a pretty penny right here. I've not used it yet, but it does seem like it's going to do the job and it's build quality is just amazing. I was really surprised that there is very little information on these out there. Contractor forms, this, that, and the other. Uh, the problem with spitting is usually overcome by starting and stopping off of your work surface. But if you're in the middle of a large surface, like the side of a house, and you do have to stop because of an obstruction, uh, it's hard to not get it spitting and it will spit quite a bit with one of these long long nozzles so I'm gonna give it a go I was getting ready to start shooting a side of my house so I'll let you know what I think well I, had, I shot a side of my house with it that's all I did today and this thing works awesome uh, I have absolutely zero spitting when using it uh, one thing I failed to mention is there's a knob on the back Complete counterclockwise is a flush mode. That's what you where you would put it uh, when you want to clean it out uh, as well as In spraying you can pull this all the way out or turn it and it will relieve the pressure between here and the gun And then of course all the way in would be spray uh, The only thing negative I could say about it is it is aluminum for the most part but it does have some steel and some stainless steel I'm sure inside it's a little bit heavy and when you have it out on a 20 inch extension it'll wear you out a little bit over time you know I'm using a spray tech G10 XL uh, two finger trigger which is what I prefer over a four and my gun that came with my Graco sprayer is still in the package because it's a full four. This is my go-to. Uh, so long story short, it does get a little bit heavy, 
over time and it'll kind of wear on your wrist a little bit but it's not too bad another thing I did notice is I I've not ever used any of the rack X tips and this one came with a 517 and it, I could use a lower pressure to atomize the paint and get rid of my tailing than I can with the spray tech tips that I have been buying now the tips that I have been using were probably twenty twenty two dollars somewhere in that range and they work pretty good don't get me wrong you know these tips I believe are about thirty five to thirty eight dollars a pop you know so I was using uh, replacement tips from spray tech to save on a little bit of money but I'm thinking over time I'm gonna switch over to this rack X tip because I'm really liking them at least so far uh, all in all it works beautifully like I said no spitting everything worked like a dream and it is a great great accessory for your airless rig a little pricey for what they are but it does prevent spitting and you can use extensions and extensions are really nice because if you've got shrubberies or things like that you don't have to get right up on the work or reach out you can stand back and make it past all those items and still paint it plus you get a lot of reach with one of those extensions and this swivel part here is invaluable you can turn this on the fly get down low and shoot up get up shoot down it's a great great tool just a little bit of information there I've not seen hardly anything on this on the web and I don't believe any video so that's my review on it I think it's great thanks for watching and good luck